Where else uh, are you thinking about conceivable going in the future? What's that, what else is kind of on the roadmap or are you thinking about and kind of exploring as possibilities for the future? I'm really working on 10x thinking, so I'm going to say carefully what I think. So essentially, you know, with the with with the current conceivable for women's health, the node, which is the back end software that runs the fertility part, will be able to switch right between pre period, you know, all through this. I don't know if in my life I'm going to have enough time to get all that finished and execute and all the research that I want to do, but certainly we'll start partnering. Like there'll be opportunities to license um, the, that node for chronic illness, because in Chinese medicine, you're never treating anything, you're always treating everything, which is why we can move between those nodes very easily. Um, so like MS or diabetes, any chronic illness, asthma, heart disease, you could run a program similar to what can see, like almost identically, just with different content, like all the, the AIs would be trained to talk about heart disease or to talk about MS or talk about you know, those kinds of issues. And there'd be different features in those apps, but certainly um, licensing that will be an opportunity for us 